I don't understand people with big trucks. Here's why. I live in a pretty small town. Some people would call it a hick town. But here's the thing. We have a Dairy Queen. Any town that has a Dairy Queen is established, okay? That's how it is. It's not like you're bathing in the water tower. And yet, people who live here have this need to drive the biggest, loudest truck in the world. And I know, I know, I know what people say about big trucks, all right? I'm not even gonna go there, all right? That's unnecessary. My main problem with people owning big trucks is that it's wasteful. If you're gonna own something that requires that much time and effort to wash it and to fix it and to get new accessories for it, bro, why do you even have a truck? You aren't constructing a building out in the middle of nowhere like in the Ford, built Ford Tough commercials. You work at Dairy Mart and you live in an apartment. Nothing wrong with that, but you don't need a truck for that. Also, why are you wearing Carhartts? What do you do? I mean, don't get me wrong, like, I'm not the boss of you, okay? I'm just giving you some friendly advice. You can do whatever you want, it's a free country. That's what makes America beautiful, you know? But use your time and resources wisely. If you had a more appropriately sized vehicle, you could do important society things like taking up one lane or letting my family sleep. In my mind, the only type of person who really needs a truck is an actual cowboy. Someone who goes out and rustles a herd. If your day-to-day -day occupation involves words like rustling, cowpoke, sheepdogs, stuff like that, totally. To get, get all your car hearts, get to own two trucks. I mean, knock yourself out because odds are if you actually do all that stuff, you probably live far away from my neighborhood. <laughs> so, the exact same rules apply to country music. Call me a hater. You know, I just calls them like I sees them.